Hi, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing um, three lipsticks and a lip liner that I think looks good on light olive skin tones. And this is a great nude lip look for light olive skin tones. So I'm gonna be showing all MAC products and then the lip gloss that I'll be showing today is from a totally different brand. So I'm gonna start off with um, this MAC lipstick and it is in Creme de Nude. And the lipstick looks like this. And all these lipsticks appear um, darker, I think, on camera. So I'm just gonna do a swatch. And all of the lipsticks that I'm gonna show, I have to wear a lip liner with them because otherwise it would look like I have concealer on my lips. So that is Max Creme de Nude, and this is extremely light on my lips. And I like to pair it with this MAC lip liner in stone. And I'm just gonna put a line right next to the swatch. So that is MAC Stone with MAC Creme de Nude. And I really like this combination. And when I do put it on my lips, I don't make the lip liner this dark. I try to blend it more with the lipstick. So the second color, also by MAC, is called Myth. And again on camera, this looks so much darker than it is. So I'm just gonna do watch and you can see here it looks so much darker on my hand but I'm telling you when this is on my lips this is so pale in fact I'm wearing it today and I could never wear this on its own I would need a lip liner with it and I'll just do the swatch of the lip liner stone so that stone with myth. And then the third lipstick is called Blankety, also by MAC. And again, it looks so dark, but when it's on your lips, it is just so much lighter. And here is the swatch of Blankety. And this one has more of a mauve tone to it, but again, when it's on my lips, it is such a light color. And there is the lip liner stone next to Blankety. So again, this is MAC Creme de Nude, Myth, and Blankety, and the lip liner is called Stone. And I love stone lip liner. I think it is such a good color. And then I usually put a lip gloss on over top. So for example, today I have on Max Myth with stone. And I have this lip gloss from Chantecaille on. And it's basically clear, but it does impart a very light pink shine to your lips. So I'll just do a swatch. It's always hard to capture lip gloss swatches, but I will do my best. So here is the swatch of the Chantecaille lip gloss, and this is in a color called Lucky. You can barely see that. Um, it looks mostly clear, but I think you get the idea of um, the pink kind of shine. And that's what I have on my lips today. So this lip gloss on top of Max Myth. I'm just trying to find the lipstick that's blankety. The writing is so small on these. That's creme de nude. Okay, here it is. So I'm wearing this lipstick with Stone Lip Liner and Chantecaille Lip Gloss in the color Lucky. And with light olive skin tones, it can sometimes be hard finding um, nude looks that are flattering. And I think these three colors are quite nice. 
So another thing, the reason I did hand swatches and not lip swatches is because I noticed that, you know, when I see somebody wearing a lip color and then I love how it looks on them and then I try it out and it looks totally different on me. And it's because we all have different pigmentation um, in our lips. So some people have very pale lips, some people have um, more color in their lips. And then when you put on a lipstick, it's not gonna look the same on all of us. So I feel um, doing a hand swatch, ooh, little, little bug, doing hand swatches is, um, gives you kind of a better idea of the color, but of course it's always good to go and try it on because you're not gonna really know what it truly looks like on you unless you actually try the color on and see how it translates onto your lips. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and if you have, um, a nude lip combination that you think looks really good specifically for olive skin tones or light olive skin tones please share that in the comment section down below so i want to thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you all in the next one Bye bye